Nigga wanna see me fall Stephen Curry how I ball so I'm going to show you how to recreate this logo right here, the Fortnite Battle Royale logo, but obviously replacing the text with your own text. It's really simple once you have um, all the assets, you just need the backplate without any text and then the, the font and the layer style. So after you have that, it's really easy to do. So I'm going to go through how to do it in this tutorial, but I'll also leave the files in the description if you just want to change the text and have a template of it yourself so yeah so the first thing you want to do is remove all the text from it now i could show you how to do this but you could just download a png of this without any text from the description because i might as well just put this in the description once i've removed all the text sort of thing so i'm going to do that speed for it now and then yeah So there you have it, there's the Fortnite logo with all the text removed and these two little icons down here removed. So this is what you'll get if you download the file in the description. So from this point all you have to do is follow along with the text. So the font that you want to use for the text is called Burbank Big Condensed. And yeah, obviously you just put this and then I'm just going to put Sample. And you want to make sure it's all in caps as well, I forgot. And set this top one to complete white. So Sample because that is the font that they use for the Fortnite logo so just put that there so I'm just gonna put sample and then I'm gonna have custom text underneath so custom there and then sort of custom text there so once you have the text in place all that's left to do is the layer styles so I'll show you how to recreate them here but I'll also leave the layer styles in the description and you can open them yourself and just add them on so for the top one it just looks like a gradient from this color here to this color here like that so just put a gradient overlay of them two colors and then it does look like a yellowy in a glow there so i'm going to do that after but double click on the layer go to gradient overlay and then if you click on this window here you can select like the gradients you want you can choose the colors from these two points here but as i've selected the colors with the color picker they will be both here and i've just used it on the wrong layer but i'm just going to go through this quickly on this text and then just move it over what i've done is i've added the orange on the bottom and the yellow on the top whereas with this one the orange is at the top and the yellow is at the bottom so that's a quick fix, just go into the gradient overlay again by double clicking on it and then changing this angle here to 0 or minus 90 sorry. So just flip it upside down like that. So as you can see if you move this angle around the angle of the gradient changes. So just if it's upside down this end just turn it upside down to there and you've got that hit OK. That's looking good so far and then you've got this little tiny inner glow here. So again hide this layer, double click go to inner glow so this default yellow color here is actually quite good for this um, but if you don't have this as a default just go to like between yellow and white and then just make it really pale yellow and then turn the choke up quite a bit and the size to one and then hit okay and then there you go you've got an outline so now I've got it on the wrong text I wanted it on the top one um, so what I'm gonna do is just drag these where it says effects here just drag onto the layer like that and then obviously if you want to copy them you just hold alt and drag and then it will copy them over so then the last thing to do for the top text is the drop shadow so you just want to make it as close to the logo as possible um, the angle will be at 90 so it's just facing down the size would be quite high like that and the opacity down to like that so top text is now done now second text is a bit um, more tricky because this sort of curved gradient here um, you're not going to get that with a layer style so you have to pen tool over and map it on but I'll show you how to do that quickly so this gradient here is made out of this color and then it goes to this color here so I'm going to hide this and then add the gradient overlay onto this with these two colors here so I believe it was the light color on the bottom and then the dark on top so I'm just going to flip this upside down so now this gradient is a bit different because it doesn't start from the bottom and go up to the top it sort of starts from more the middle area so what I'm going to do is turn the scale down to near 50% and then drag this up and then probably even smaller so there and then again the inner glow just set it to that color turn the choke up to quite a bit set it to one set the opacity down and there you go so we've now got the main gradient on there now we need this oval bit here so I'm gonna just color pick this color here and to color pick I'm pressing B and holding alt uh, so B gets you on the brush tool and then once you're on the brush tool if you hold alt you can color pick or if you want to go to the eye picker tool uh, wherever it is you just press I on the keyboard I on the keyboard there uh, so you can yeah you can do it either way so we've color picked this oval shape now so hide this layer again so now make a new layer to put the oval on and then what you want to do is hold control and select this T here 
which will just select an outline of the text and then make a layer mask with this which is this rectangle button down here if you can't see it on my screen I should put an icon up but that one there just press that button and now you can go to your rectangle selection here and hold it down to get your elliptical marquee tool uh, which is just a elliptical selection tool and then just drag over where you think the oval should go there and then press B to get up your brush and just brush over oh, with a big brush there like that um, yeah it looks pretty good we just need a drop shadow on this text here so now because I've added this oval on top of this layer um, with a layer mask the inner glow goes underneath it so what I'm gonna do is hide the inner glow from this layer duplicate the text move it upwards hide all the effects and then add the inner glow onto this layer here and set the choke up so yeah all them settings are the same and then change the fill to zero which will remove the layer but it will keep the effects on it so if you, you see here now the inner glow is on top of both of the layers now the last thing to do is these logos down here so for this I'm just gonna put some text saying logo for example uh, just to keep it in the Fortnite font for now set it to white and then set it into the position that I want it to look sort of engraved in the tags so for the first one I'll go there looks good and then the second one just there like that so now if we look at the example the logos here have a sort of inner shadow coming from one direction and then a sort of highlight coming from the other direction so now if we look at the example the logos have a sort of highlight going in one direction and shadows go in the other direction and they also have a different color to them so what I'm gonna do is just select this color here just so we get that and then hide this layer and change both of these to that color that we chose so just like that now you can't really see them but once we add the layer styles on you should be able to so double click on one of them and then go to bevel and emboss and that is how you get um, a shadow from one area and the highlight on the other area and then just set the depth all the way up and the size all the way down. And then you can play around with the opacities here like that. So I'm going to set the shadows up. Uh, sorry, the highlights up and the shadows down. It looks decent, but the bevel and emboss needs to come from a different angle. So I'm going to change this angle here. You can just turn it around like that and just see where it works best. So I think there it works best. So if you hit OK, you can now see it sort of looks ingrained in. The only thing with that is that once you change the angle of the bevel and emboss, um, the angle of the shadow changes um, up here. It changes all the layers angles. So you could rasterize these layers just by hitting right click and rasterize type and then right click and rasterize layer style afterwards. Um, but I'm just going to keep it how it was before like that and then just keep the, the angle the same here. And then I'm going to hold alt and drag this bevel and emboss down to this uh, logo down here and there you go you've got two ingrained logos in the tags you've got your custom text up here and that is how you do it so appreciate it for watching um, if it did help let me know if you have any questions about Photoshop or anything I did um, then also let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you um, I'll leave this project file in the description with the backplate separate the text separate so it should be all you have to do is change the text and it should copy the layer style onto it already and then with the oval, if it's too wide, you can just stretch it out on this layer here or whatever. Um, but if it does become too confusing, I'll try and help out as much as possible. For help, you could hit me up in the comments or Twitter. Uh, they're the main two areas where I'm active. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace.